Harrison, just how important was it for you guys to bounce back and get this win, especially after the first half you guys had to? Oh, it, bounce back is huge, you know, like after a loss like that, you just gotta, you know, wash it off your back and focus on the next game. I think that's what we did. The first half we focused on our defense and our defense carried us. We were hitting shots and we carried us our defense carried to the second half and we started hitting shots. What kind of statement was, uh, was this from your defense today? I mean, this Harold Frey is a great team, or a great player, and he's offensively minded guy. I mean, what, is, what kind of statement was this for your defense? I didn't know we could play defense like that, to be honest with you. I was, I was amazed myself. When I looked at the score, I was like, they have 21 points? That's I remember cool. when the years past, he's been off. And yeah. It's been hard to keep him down, but we did today. And, and kind of dealing with those offensive struggles, I mean, what, what are you guys, like, either as individuals or as a team, kind of harping in the huddle like, are you just is it just keep going, keep fighting through it? Uh, me personally, I just kind of just, I work on the shots that I'm shooting, so they're going to go in. We just have trust in each other. If we move the ball, get the open shot. Boom, hit it. If not, get the offense rebound, keep playing. Things like that, that uh, and one at the end of the game, I mean, probably, probably the most clutch play of the game. What, what went into that shot? What went into that play? What did you see? Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> they're taking my left hand away. So you know, I'm not kind of like going left. But I just went anyway. Some say I travel. I might have. And then he tripped me as so I started falling. I just threw it up there. And I made it. So. Uh, dealing with the foul differential early, I mean, it kind of fixed itself towards the end. But I mean, it was, there were a couple calls here and there that could have gone either way and didn't tend to go your way. I mean, did that suck the momentum out of you guys? How did you guys fight through that? Uh, we know we're hacks. So you just kind of you know, make fun of the refs and keep moving. You know, we know we fouled. And, well, I mean, I, I heard Coach Simon saying just us. You know, he kept saying that. Like, every time there would be a bad, you know, or, or a missed call or something like that or something that he didn't agree with, just us, just us. Is that kind of a model you guys carry? Uh, just, like, no matter what, like, if the refs don't want to be on our side or if the refs have a bad whistle or whatever, or the crowd's yelling at us, like, we have, we all love each other. Like, we're still a family. Like, we still pick each other up and stuff like that. And, I mean, so far, two, th three conference games in, what, what's the feel that you get playing against? I mean, Montana the other day, uh, uh, Montana State, Portland State a couple weeks ago. I mean, what's the feel that you get around the conference so far? It's going to be cutthroat. Anyone can beat anyone. And so this win's big because, like, one win could make a huge difference in our record yeah. where it places us. So it's big. Three, three for 22 from three. Uh, I, you know, I, I mean, I don't want to be, sound like a broken record. I mean, it's, but it seems like this has been something that has continued to, to be not, not necessarily an issue because – but, it, but it's been, I mean, what, what yeah, have you, what do you guys shot worse than that. That's the, that's the sad part. But, you know, you just, that's one of those things you just, you know the shots you're shooting when you work out in the gym. So you, if they're not falling that day, we got to find something else, go to the basket, to the free throw line, try to get your, your shot from the right. But it just didn't fall for us today. We came out to win. Amazing. Are those, are those shots, I mean, I'm sure you guys take a lot of those practice, obviously. But, uh, I mean, I mean you, you feel comfortable going into them. And if you're just not hitting them, how do you handle it? I mean, being a, a three-point shooter like you are. Uh, usually, if I'm not hitting a three, I try to just get something easy, see it go through the net, and then go from there. You know, so I try to kind of attack, get to the rim, um, and that's what leaves me wide open. I will just shoot it because I know I can make it. So, here's no 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 effort anymore. What, what's what went to the change? Uh, yeah. I'm not a boring guy, so I like to change it up a little bit. I'm waiting for Mace to get the braids. I'm nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was also going to ask you, Harrison, I noticed the mismatched shoes and the rolled-up shorts. You've been rocking those uh, you know, for a little while. Yeah. Any, anything going into those? Any change? New year, new me kind of thing? No, I, uh, mismatched I've been doing since I was in the seventh grade or something like that. And my mom hates my shorts, so I just keep going higher and higher. So. <laughs> just to get, just to annoy her? Oh, yeah, I get texted after every game. <laughs> Did you get to watch Joel and Bean on Christmas Day? Those, those shoes were special. I like them. They copied me, but. <laughs> <laughs> Same about the contest, and then we will roll from there. Uh, yeah, gritty win, you know, three and six days, the third day, especially with um, a little shorter bench for a couple of those days. Um, you know, we, we, we knew we were, we were going to have to, this one was going to be, you know, a dog fight. Um, they're a good team. You know, they got, they got an outstanding big, and uh, obviously one of the best guards in the league. And, you know, so. And they, and they do a good job. Their staff does a good job. So it was going to be a heck of a, uh, of a game. And we knew if we come out and defend, get enough stops, we'd give ourselves a chance. And holding 27% is, is something I'm proud of the guys for doing. You guys didn't have much of an offense yourself in the first half. Yeah, 
That's say that's an understatement. <laughs> we we were getting uh, we were getting outstanding shots, and they just weren't going in. And then their and their strategy was to really pack it in, and, and kind of give us those shots. And, and you know you can see with this team we've we've what do we got the first and the third most threes up in school history in a game. And then there's games like this. We're just kind of up and down. So we just had to make an adjustment. We made the adjustment. And said okay, we'll we'll come out and force it in there and try to get the foul line and, and that was kind of our strategy in the second half. The, the, those timeouts in the, in the first half, uh, when you guys were really struggling to find a bucket, like you said, you were getting good looks, you just couldn't find the, the bottom of the net. What do, what are you harping on in, in timeouts? Just keep, keep, keeping up the attacking? I mean, what yeah, we want to stay on attack and, and touch paint. And then uh, if we can, uh, you know, make the shots are going to fall, we've got to stay confident, um, you know, and, and, and stay with it. You know, if they're good ones, our shooters got to keep shooting. You, know, you can make an adjustment, but you got to be smart. And uh, we just did that, and we made sure we took care of the ball and did other things. How do you characterize your jump shooting, especially from three? I mean, you, like you said, you hit 15 threes in one game. One, uh, that's a lot of each state, I think. And now with this, it's well, how do you characterize your jump shooting team as inconsistent as it is? Yeah, I mean, inconsistent is probably the word. We're just, you know, we, we go and go on those spurts, and I think when everything's going in, that bucket gets really big, and when it's not, I mean, in our misses weren't that you're mad at me. A bunch of, uh, you know, Dre's shots were just kind of in and out, and May's shot was in and out. You're, you're so you're feeling good about it because it's not like we're, we're bricking them into the stands. They're yeah. just going in and out, and that's kind of so we gotta just keep our head high and make the shoot the next one. It's a good shot for us. What were you B bigger win? Oh, an actual win by more than a bucket for a change. Yeah, that six has to, be, is, that has to be a better feeling. Six though. feels a lot better, even though it felt like uh, it felt like we were uh, scheming and willing every single basket into the, in, in the bucket. But uh, but no, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I, I would uh, I would much rather play this game than a shootout where you're not playing AD and all that stuff. This is we're going to defend because defense, defense travels and wins championships, and that's what we want to do. So. Uh, uh, Harold's a guy that's gotten you in the past, yep. in the past game, but you put Damani on him and you know him scores low, scores low. What was the defensive game plan coming into this game? And were you surprised that Damani did really well against one of the better offensive players in the league? Yeah, I mean, I believe he's averaged 28 and a half in this building, uh, which is, isn't exciting for us. So uh, <laughs> our deal was we were going to double team every ball screen. We we're going to get it out of his hands. And somebody, anybody else, is going to have to beat us, but not him. And, uh, you know, so John, you know, and John is is a dynamic defender. You know, he, he sold himself out on that defensive end, and, and then Damani would come in, and he does that. He's special on that end of the floor. Is is he's just got a special, special gift. And uh, you know, so those guys didn't. You know, Dre Marine took a few reps with them, and those guys did a great job. Made him really, really work. Three, three for eleven from the floor with five turnovers from arguably uh, as good a gutter as there is in the league. You, you. you you know, you gotta be proud of those guards. And the, the foul count was a little lopsided. Uh, I, I know that, that that was something you guys were, were getting on, uh, or, or getting the, the referee's ear at about the 10 minute mark, halfway point, it was like eight, eight, eight to two or something like that. Um, uh, what are you, you kept saying just us, just us. I noticed that. Is that that's something that, that was kind of a motto when things aren't going right, just. Yeah, we just gotta focus on us, you know. And I, I didn't really notice the foul count, um, but. Uh, you know, I, but I think, and I don't want our guys to be looking up and noticing that either. I think they just got to focus on, on uh, you know, playing their game and control what they can control. So uh, that uh, I'm not say speaking of fouls, but that last uh, big bucket by Mason where he gets to end one. You know, some people might say he traveled, but other, he ends up making a big shot and one. Um, mm -hmm. I think probably the most clutch play of the game. Is that the reason why you inserted him to the starting lineup? Yeah, I mean Mays is is such a phenomenal player. I mean, he's just, he's going to be a guy that's a cornerstone of this program for so long. I mean, he gets 13, 10, and four blocks again today. I mean, that's three straight double-doubles, too. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's – and, he, and he was that guy, and, you know, he had a little little lull in non-conference, but in, and then uh, – but we knew exactly – this is what he was doing in the fall. I mean, he was – he's such a good player, and, and we just got to keep finding ways to use him. And, and uh, he'll keep getting his own because he plays so hard. I mean, there's nobody that plays harder than that guy in the entire country. And, and nobody gets hit in the face more either. But, uh, he, he, he has a knack <laughs> for getting hit. But uh, no, he was, we can go to him, and, and, and he's become very reliable. Uh, talking about John Knight, uh, 
charges? I mean, is it is there something that, that in practice? I mean, because you don't want him to get passive. Mm -hmm. We also want to keep him out of foul trouble, I'm sure. Yep. And, and, and in a tight game like this, it, it kind of hurt. I saw you subbing in Damani on defense, letting him play offense, kind of switching back and forth. What, what are you looking for in terms of him to kind of get him away from that charge, that foul trouble? Yeah, you know, and what will help is, you know, we, we, we kicks it a few times. Keep playing off two feet, which has been kind of our theme with him, you know, because people are uh, – you don't want to tone him down you know, because he's, he's such a dynamic downhill guy. But, if you, you know, kick a few times. If we make a few of those threes, then all of a sudden uh, all of a sudden, people aren't able to just keep, you know, loading the rim up on him. Perfect. Thank you.